from the subreddit Ask Reddit. Who is a well-written strong female character in a movie or TV show? Dana Scully in The X-Files. Mona Lisa Vito, portrayed by Marissa Tomei in My Cousin Vinny. That movie is a masterpiece, and in no small part from her contribution. Sarah Connor in the films Terminator and Terminator 2, as well as in the television series Terminator, The Sarah Connor Chronicles. Clarice Starling from Silence of the Lambs. Colonel Samantha Carter, Stargate SG-1. Ellen Ripley in Alien. Kim Wexler in Better Call Saul. Zoe Washburn in Firefly. Avasarala from The Expanse. Olivia from Fringe. Leela from Futurama. Dot. Most of the dinosaurs in the first Jurassic Park. Kamina Drummer, Chris Jenner Vassarala, and Bobby Draper from The Expanse. Edit, basically every female character in the show. Suki in ATLA. Kim Possible, because she has so many different layers. Yes, she saves the world with her best friend on the regular, but she doesn't use that as an excuse to complain about girly things or flat out say that they're stupid like most. Strong female characters, you see. She's really into cheerleading and incorporates it into what she does. She dates Ron despite every other girl telling her that she's stupid for liking him and doesn't care what they think for the most part. She also has believable flaws and has to admit that she's wrong a number of times, maybe I just really like Kim Possible. Chihiro from Spirited Away. She's just a young child, yet she's so brave. I will forever love Veronica Mars. Buffy. Elle Woods from Legally Blonde. Being a strong woman does not mean giving up femininity. Ellie Sattler from Jurassic Park. Mulan. Dr. Wendy Carr in Mindhunter. Melanie Cavill in Snowpiercer from Netflix, I think she defines a powerful woman in all aspects. Joyce Bias in Stranger Things. I mean, I could have also written about L or Maximum. But I have always felt like Joyce was top of the list in terms of being a strong female character. She doesn't have any magical powers like L, and she doesn't have the emotional resilience of Max, but she will literally go to hell and back to save the people she cares about. M.S. Frizzle. Dana Scully from X Files. Strong enough to start the Scully effect. Lisa Hawkeye in Full Metal Alchemist. I'll give you a left field pick and say Mothra. She's a supporting mother, badass guardian of the planet, and has a win or loss record that few Kiju can match. She's so cool that not even death can put her down. Leslie Nope. Seriously. Despite Parks and Rec being a comedy, Leslie is always the most competent, intelligent and is always helping friends and doing what she thinks is right no matter how it will affect her. Edit, oh Anne, you poetic, noble land mermaid. Lois from Malcolm in the Middle, she takes no shit. Katara in Avatar television series. Erin Sun from Farscape. Sarah, Mac, Mackenzie from J.A.G. Derry Girls. Maybe not strong characters, but deep and well-written ones. Kim Wexler, Rear Seahorn, of Better Call Saul. Donna Noble, Doctor Who. Lagertha from Vikings. Most badass ever. Kira Neris from Star Trek, Deep Space Nine. Ahsoka Tano, Jedi Padawan in the Clone Wars series. Ruth on Ozark. She was the perfect balance of a person with strength and vulnerability. C.J. Craig in The West Wing. Francis McDormand in Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Dot. Mrs. Marple by A. Christie. Taken a bit more literally, Jessica Jones. Ron Swanson in Parks and Recreation. Winner of the Woman of the Year Award. Rebecca, Hannah Waddington, from Ted Lasso. 
Princess Fiona from Shrek. Another one I can think of is Sarah in Labyrinth. She's scared and vulnerable but she bucks up and gets through the labyrinth. She turns Jareth's offer off love and saves her brother. It really inspired me knowing you can be young and scared and still triumph in the end. Coraline is another one I love. Sorry I love 80s and animated movies. Ashila, Tai Lee, and Mai, Mei, from ATLA. All strong in their own ways, and entirely badass. Peggy Olsen. You think she will just fade into the realm of mad men but she makes her place. Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia, Empire Strikes Back. I just saw that again last week, and loved how strong she was. Compare her to many of the female characters pre-Star Wars, she's amazing. Marissa Tomei as Mona Lisa Vito in, My Cousin Vinny, Dot. Eowyn from The Lord of the Rings. Fiona Glennan from Burn Notice, she's a fantastic woman who knows her way around combat. Her love for violence and fashion is pretty funny honestly. She's pretty much my fave gal from any TV series ever. Dr. Carrie Weaver from ER. Leia from Original Star Wars Trilogy. Ripley from Alien. Lana from Archer. Lana. Captain Jane Way. Katara from Avatar The Last Airbender. Also Toph from the same show. Bulma, like unironically. She's a character with agency, is imperfect in human ways, and despite not being a fighter feels indispensable to the cast. The only thing that's badly written involving her are the sexual assault jokes. And that's a Kame Senning Olong problem, not a Bulma problem. Leslie Nope in Parks and Recreation. Brienne of Tarth. Buffy. Mary Richards, The Mary Tyler Moore Show. Dict, investigative journalist in Danish TV show named for her. Buffy, Vampire Slayer. Marth, Caroline, Ingalls, Little House on the Prairie. Tess, Working Girl. And Shirley, Anne of Green Gables, etc. Clark in TV series The 100. Kim Wexler from Better Call Saul is one of the top TV characters of this century, male or female. Bones from Bones. Actually all of main female characters are smart and driven and complex. Great show. Nancy from Stranger Things. All the characters are great from the show, but she fits this type, what makes her so great is how complex she is. Her growth from a type of conservative girl, to an absolute badass, the growth coming from a trauma response. Dolores and May from Westworld. Buffy. Buffy Summers. Buffy in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Kim Possible. Kim in Better Call Saul. She reminds me of my ambitious and fun-loving female friends. And you can imagine her character still having a life and a plot in the absence of Saul. Peggy Hill. Trinity, The Matrix. Leslie Nope in Parks and Recreation. Carmela Soprano. Kate Beckett, Stana Katik, from Castle. Katara from The Last Airbender. Ripley. I mean. D from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia can def handle herself rolling on the floor laughing and goes toe to toe with the rest of the gang. Xena, Warrior Princess. She kicked ass. She was infinitely better than the other female characters on TV in the 90s. The alternatives were whiny, emotional, boy crazy characters on shows like Dawson's Creek, Party of Five, and Friends. Xena, Warrior Princess. Emily Blunt rules in both Edge of Tomorrow and Sicario, I wish she'd make more action movies. Everyone naming Ripley and Sarah Connor, I'd make the distinction of T2 Sarah Connor though, in the first movie she's basically a damsel in distress. Someone said the bride in Kill Bill which I came to post, Gal Gadot was good in Wonder Woman 2 but she should never make another movie with Patty Jenkins after WW84 foot.
Claire Underwood, House of Cards. Kima, Rhonda, and Snoop, The Wire. Ruth and Wendy, Ozark. Elizabeth Jennings, The Americans. Polly and Ada, Peaky Blinders.